Hello, welcome back to A Story to Score. Education is an area which is often repeated in the general essay paper. Now, an optional like sociology have certain chapters which directly deals with education. Otherwise, when you study the history, you obviously will have a larger idea about the educational field like the earlier system of education in India and how the colonial practices has changed it into a much more mass kind of an education. At least that much of information you will be having. And post-independent India also, the government of India's schemes related to education, you should be having a fair idea. And any recent initiatives like the new education policy or any schemes like the you know, the Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan and things like that. That much information you should be having to begin with. And uh, education is one area where there are a lot of stories available. Like from the Upanishads, there are stories about teaching and learning. Like the story of Nachiketa who asked a lot of questions to Yama. And uh, the story of Satyakama who ended up in a Gurukula and uh, how he picked up things about the Brahma and uh, the spiritual world. And of course, there are a lot of things like uh, the Panchatantra which was actually used as, uh, you know, the, the, the whole of Panchatantra stories are written to teach the princess the values of life so all these things extra things can be used to give interesting introductions if we move away from india the zen buddhist stories from japan they are a wonderful source of stories related to education because the zen stories are basically small stories and there is humor and most of them carries a lot of, uh, you know, insights. So, as part of your, uh, you know, general reading, if you take some time to check the Zen stories or the Upanishad stories, if you just Google them like uh, Upanishad stories about education or Zen stories about education, you will get a lot of interesting small stories. So, you could put them into good use. Apart from that, there are a lot of general stories also from Indian um, mythology and things like that where you hear about the masters and disciples, the guru and shishya, which also could be brought in. Say for example, there are this... Uh, Question about uh, education without values will make a, you know, a cruel devil out of a man. So, for teaching this uh, education without values, one could think about stories from any of the sources. There was the story about a person who wanted to master all the knowledge without actually studying them. He actually wanted to, you know, get it from a uh, rigorous penance, then the gods comes and teach him a lesson of how it is not possible to acquire knowledge without actually studying them. So, such kind of a story can be put as an introduction for this. And as I told you, all these uh, sources are, you know, can actually give you wonderful examples of stories related to the value of education. Even there are uh, stories like Aesop stories and Anderson stories from the West. Or you could uh, even think about the religious things like uh, Bible also gives you some insights about the importance of learning. So any of the stories, I mean if you generally jot them down, that could be useful because education is a topic which is often repeated than many other topics which we talked about. So, apart from 
having a historical knowledge about the development of education in India, you could add these stories into your, uh, you know, part I mean, into your notes so that if you get a question on education, you could use any of them to start your essay. And generally, to having a good understanding about uh, the system of education, that can be useful for your uh, all stages of exam. So, that's all about education and we will deal with another topic next week. Thank you for watching.